Hello. Well, the weather has suddenly changed in Britain to being really warm to back to what UK weather normally is. And that is pretty horrible and cold and rainy. But there we go. Hope everyone had a good summer. I certainly did. Uh, a lot of travel for business, uh, which meant a lot of over overindulging. Uh, but we'll come on to that later. So let's have a look at these. I bought these about two years ago. Uh, probably summer of two years ago and I've not washed or soaked these at all so I bought these specific ones because not many people wear strike gold I thought they'd be interesting they've got a good rep if you look up reviews and stuff I didn't do too much research on buying them and the one thing I would say is that the SG 3109s are a little bit low and extremely tight on the thigh and of course that is a factor because these are no wash no soak so they will um and they're unsanitized so they will shrink so that's going to be an issue as i mentioned i traveled a lot and i've put on weight and that's the problem with a long-term game of you know raw denim you don't know what your weight's going to be in two years and as a friend of mine it said no one ever travels for business and buys a salad when they go for dinner uh, and perhaps you could say well perhaps you should but there we go so let's look first of all uh, what they feel like because don't forget I haven't washed them for two years right so the bit to look at that's really like striking for me is here like right on the thigh just to, just below the pocket and the only way I could describe it is you know a barber jacket that's finished in wax that's how it feels feels kind of waxy now let's let's not put a veneer on this right what I mean by waxy is Greasy. Now, I don't mind. I don't think, personally, they smell that bad. And again, that's all personal taste, yeah? They've not been washed for two years. Some people might say, well, they, they're probably stinky. And I, I don't mind it, but what I would say is they were stiff when I put them on like cardboard. And because I haven't washed or soaked them at all, they're no less stiff. They're not fun to wear. They've never been fun to wear. And when I don't wear them, I'm kind of glad to take them off. And, you know, it's had to get really cold in Britain. I say really cold, normal temperatures, before I consider wearing them again. But here we are. Now, in terms of the waste and shrinkage when I wash or oh, soak them, not too worried because apparently they do shrink. Uh, but as everyone says with denim that shrinks, it bags back out like it loosens again. So I'm not too worried. Um, I, I am worried that I put on weight and they'll probably be cutting me in half. But that's more to do with weight than I am to do with actually buying the size that fits me and then them shrinking. Now, in terms of wear, let's start on the back because that's quite striking. Um, I did say that this would come off. Uh, they don't use poly cotton, so polyester cotton, which is the strongest stuff that most jeans use. They've just used this normal cotton. And I was wondering if they use poly cotton on the pockets. And I've seen videos before which have referenced where even the pocket um, stitching comes off. And yeah, look, it's it's coming off. Uh, I'm not sure if we can zoom in and if we do uh, what it's going to look like. But yeah, it, here it is. And then if you look along, it's yeah, it's coming away. Um, and I knew it would. And it will make these not particularly useful if, if it goes too far. Because as you can see here, look. That, let's see if we can zoom in on that one, he says, not zooming in. That's actually come away, look, see? Right. I mean, that one's still holding it. But again, the detailing, if we go back to one on the old zoom, it's, it's, it's going. Uh, some people could say, it's what gives it the character, doesn't really matter, etc., etc. I Have I got an opinion on it? Not really. I, I do think it adds to the character. But again, you know, I didn't spend the sort of money I did on these, which is about 200 GBP for them to wear out. But then I've already had them two years. So we look at that. <clears throat> and then we can look at the backs of the legs as well. I mean, don't forget, this isn't soaked yet. But you can see it's pretty striking. Um, and then we got the other one. May as well have a look. Uh, 
Now, again, I'm just doing this as an experiment because uh, I don't really care. Like Some people are, um, are very particular on what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And I just did this as an experiment. <clears throat> and although they're uncomfortable, you know, they are uncomfortable because they're so, because they are heavy and, well, I mean, not that heavy, 17, 17 ounce. It's been a fun process. You know, this is a journey. Now let's look at the stitching here just while we're here because this is interesting to see. Gone. But, you know, bear in mind, I have not washed these for two years. I'm surprised because a lot of people said, if you don't soak them, it'll be harsh on the stitching. I'm surprised how little has gone. Um, this again is gone here. But I, I'll probably buy some polyester cotton. I've, believe it or not, I bought some thimbles because, you know, this is heavy denim. And I'll probably stitch it if I really need to. But again, considering the amount I've worn them and the fact I've not soaked them, you know, the wear on this could be worse. Could be worse. And again, we're after the wear. You know, people forget this is what raw denim's about. It's about how it wears. I mean, look at that. In the light, you can see where this is going to be really pronounced. Not perhaps as pronounced as I thought it would be, but then, you know, you don't know till you soak. You know, once you soak, you know. Just thinking really even the pockets look quite good I don't really put anything heavy in my pockets you know some people put I don't know a big key or or I don't know some, some people put like little aluminium pill boxes in and I've not gone for that I've, I've just worn the jeans and put whatever I put in them as normal but nothing special so I've got a wallet car keys house keys bosh that is it don't put anything in the back pocket either so again I actually like the stitching finish. There's something about it that reminds me of some of the old school Levi's that they used to do Levi's engineered. They, they had this sort of color stitching and I, I like the lightness of it. And again, I, I like all the wear. You know, this is the crotch. Crotch is always fun. Nothing under there, look. Um, and I think it, you couldn't really ask too much more. They haven't blown out, which is a major issue apparently when you don't wash. They've worn pretty well. The stitching, yes, it's going in certain places, but not irreparable. And I think the colours are going to look great. And that is about it, really. You can look at the, the base of these, like the hem. This might show creasing where I've rolled them. It's not a lot I could think to do with this because they've got to be about this long to, to account for the shrinking up. So that, So you might get some there. I think some people are a bit, oh, I'm not sure about that. Or don't like it even. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. But I tell you what I am excited about is, you know, this has been a patience game, a real long patience game. And I'm just excited now to one, soak them and two, see what it does. But three, hopefully they'll be more comfortable. You know, I'll look forward to putting them on. Here's the uh, knee. Again, you know, I did think maybe this sort of thing might blow out, but it hasn't. Can we have a look at the other knee? Let's turn that over. Give you a bit of context. There you go. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is starting to sort of like, it looks like I brought put sandpaper on it, but I actually haven't. That's just natural wear. Now, yeah, look, it's it's slightly going. You know, you could say, well, is that a blowout? I'll see if I can get my hand up there. Right, oh, here it is. Got my finger on it there. But you see, I, don't, I mean, there's barely any damage beyond superficial. So the next step is, and you're going to either love this or 
dislike it intensely. I'm gonna have a hot, hot as I can take bath, fill it with hot water and nothing more, and I'm gonna sit in it. And I'll probably rub it a bit, just to get rid of a bit of the grease. But other than that, I think mission accomplished. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Can't wait to see how they fade. And we will follow up in a week or so's time on these to see if they still fit. Because again, the thigh tightness is going to be a potential issue, as is the waist, because someone has overindulged over the summer, namely Stunted Monk. Speak to you again soon. Stay tight.